now that you know what a component is, it is time to create your first component. And to create a component in Angular, you can either use the Angular CLI or you can manually create a component. With Angular CLI, it would be way easier, but you'd have a lot of boilerplate code. For this part, we are going to manually create a component just so you can better understand all the parts of a component. And on the upcoming parts, we are going to use the Angular CLI to generate our components, services, etc. So let us go to our project and see it in action. In here inside the app folder, I'm going to create a new folder. So just right click in here and then new folder. I'm going to name this folder the components and then press enter. Inside the components folder, I'm going to create a new folder and that is going to be the component name, so new folder. And let us say this component is going to be, let's say either manual or just test. For this component, we are going to create a TypeScript file. So let us just right click and then go to new file. The file is going to be test.component.txt ts is the extension of a component file. Then in here, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to import the component interface because that is necessary to create the component. So for that import, we're going to import just the component interface from the Angular core. After you import the component interface, you need to define the component decorator. That way you are telling the Angular app that this file is an Angular component. So in here I'll just type at component and then parentheses inside curly brackets. We're going to define the selector, the template, etc. After the component decorator, we're going to have the component class. So in here I'll just type export class and then the component name. The name of our component is test, but it needs to end with component, test component. Now here you can see that we have an error at the component, that's right, because we need to define all the properties of the component decorator. And let us start with the selector. And we have said that the selector is going to be the tag name of this component when you want to render this component. So I'll just type in here, selector, and the name per code convention is going to start with app, so app and then test. After you define the selector, we are going to define the template. So for that, I'll just type in here template. And when you write multiple lines of template code, it needs to be inside back ticks. So for example, here I'll just type an h1 tag that is going to be welcome to test component and then close the h1 tag. Let's say we want to also have a p tag, so a paragraph. And I'll just type in here, this is a test component that was created manually. Then after the template, you can define the styles. So here I'll just type styles. I'm just going to type in here that all the h1 tags, so inside single quotes, h1 tags are going to have the color set to red. Now let us save the changes and I'll just go to the app component.html. I'm going to remove all the code from the app.component.html and then save the changes. If I go back to the browser, you're going to see that the browser was automatically refreshed and nothing is showing up in here. So let us go back and add just like an h1 tag. I'll just type h1. This is, or let's say, welcome to app component and then save the changes. If we go back to the browser, you're going to see the message in here, an h1 tag, which says welcome to the app component. Now, just after this line, let us render the test component that we just created. So now I'll just type app test 
and then you'll see that we get an error which says that app test is not a known element. If it's a component, then verify that it's part of this module. If it's a web component, then add it to the custom element schema. Whenever you create a component, if you want that component to be available to be consumed by other components or as part of a route or anything that you want to do with that component, you need to configure that component in the app module .ts. So basically, you just need to expose that component. For that, inside the ng module, you do have in here the declarations array. And here, after the app component, I'm going to type test component. And in here, you can see the import, the test component is in the components folder, test folder, and then we have the test.component.ts file. So let's say the change in here. If you go now back to the app component.html, you're going to see that the error is gone. So let us save the changes and let's go back to the browser. You can see in here that we do have the welcome to test component title and you can see that the style CSS was applied because we have defined that the H1 tags need to be in the red color. And then here you have the paragraph that we defined in that component. Now let us go back to the test component because we are going to make some changes so all the code is separated into different files. For that, let's go back to the project. In here, I'll just go inside the test folder. And in here for now, we just have this test.component.ts. The first thing that we will do is that we're going to move the template code to a separate file. And we're going to also move the styles code to a separate file. For that, inside the test folder, let us create a new file, so new file. And that is going to be test.component.html. This is going to be the template. And then we are going to have the test.component.css. Now let us go to the ds file, so the TypeScript file. Let us copy these styles from here. So Control C. And then bring them to here. Let us go back to the TypeScript and now instead of using the styles keyword, we are going to use the styles URLs. It's URLs because you can define multiple style files for a single component. And then here I'm going to say that the style is within the same folder and the styles file is the test.component.css. You can see that the error is gone. Let us do the same for the template. I'll just cut this text and paste it inside the HTML file. Come to here. We are going to replace the template keyword with template URL. And this is not URLs because a component can have just a single template file. And the template URL is going to be the inside the same folder, the test.component.html file. So now you have completed the component and you can see in here that the code is in separate files. Let us save the changes in here. Now before we go to the browser, let us just go to the test.component.html and let's change the title in here to be coming from a separate file and then save the changes. Now, let us go back to the browser and let's see if we get the result. Here in the browser, you can see that now we have the welcome to test component coming from a separate file. So it means that the template for this component is coming from the HTML file that we just created. And since this style is being applied, it also means that the style from the separate file is being applied successfully. This is all for this part. On the next one, you're going to learn how to create these components using the Angular CLI. And you are going to see that with the Angular CLI, it is much easier and the configuration in the app.module.ts file is done by the Angular CLI.